Okay, so part three, guys. Part three. Uh, yeah. Here comes part three of this little mini series of us playing Grim Fandango. Come on. Four. One for now, it's be for later. Soup's on! Huh? They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Okay, goddess. I'm not too much of a doctor, but that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Yeah, that's how skeletons die. Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? 
Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! It turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but oh, if we shut the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights, that'll shake it down for sure. Yeah, well, you seem to have more weight than the weights. So okay, how about we do just it give while me a second. There? These doggies. Yeah, basically, because Glass himself weighs so much. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. You're supposed to like do it while he's that there. Do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I moved them around a little. That was fast enough. Well, you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Enough. 
Get in, or are you afraid of heights? When uh, Glass is driving this, this is pretty much the only time where you can control anyone besides Manny, which is definitely controlling Glass. Because all the caves just lead to the entrance to another cave, uh, to know which one's the right one, you have to put the pharaoh down. some sort of warning sign they'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne their buck toothed king will sit upon what once was you but now is gone this key unlocks the gates of hell steady traveler use it well can't pass up an old creepy key that bone for them over there. Without any of the bones in the spider place, you can just pick them from the dam, but... Not right now. No, 
stop right now. And there's one block. And that's all the beavers. Use the key on the door. So the bottom I can get through. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like to try and over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Now, the text by Forest is really short. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe, the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a little bit of 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 a From the uh, beginning of the game. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. you doing here well if you must know it's about my wife i got word that she passed away not long after i and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot it is said that all lost souls come to rubacava so i came here to wait for her you must love her very much also yes this is true 
Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. So, you know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you give me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for a beloved Celso. Alrighty, so now we get to talk to the ship captain. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha <laughs> ha that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the phone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog. Your chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm uh, not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you strew these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow. What are the people who... Hey, could I have an eye patch? Uh, stay in Rubicava. Can I just ask... What is like, under the eye patch? Just want to see that forever. Oh well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. Mm -hmm. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I, I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about it, because I, I just can't do it. Goodbye, people. Okay, now I have proof. 
that's also his wife, left. Oh wait, this is one of the rare instances where it actually looked better in the older version. Like, it still looks graphic-y, but at least it looks better than this in the Master. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. Plus, that's somehow intentional. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mob at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. And that's officially the end of part one. Yeah, come on. You know what? We'll watch that cutscene next time. Bye. Assuming this thing works. I hope this thing works. This is getting more.